Good morning. I'm student meteorologist Justin DeSaltel with the Westcon Weather Team Update. Take a look outside. We do have beautiful conditions. The clouds and early fog have burned off. The sun is now out, and it is gorgeous outside, so get outside and enjoy it with the warm air. As in Dam area right now, it's 11 a.m. We have a temperature of 65 degrees with a dew point of 57, and the winds are southwest of 13, but gusting to 22 miles per hour, so it does feel a little breezy outside. Taking a look at our weather headlines, we do have unsettled times ahead the next couple days. Not so great weekend either, so that's not going to be good. But do we have a dry start to next week? We'll take a look at my five-day forecast. National Service map, Danbury is in the warm sectored area, but we do have a cold front off to our west that will be approaching our area for the day on Thursday. Looking off to the northeast, we do have clear skies, which is why the sun is out. Looking back to our west, with that cold front, it is a band of clouds. Associated with those clouds are rain showers and also ice pellets on the backside with even a little bit of snow showing up. So this will be slowly pushing into our area for the day on Thursday. National Simula NAM simulated radar for Thursday night into Friday morning with an area of precipitation that comes through. The cold front that will come through on Thursday will stall out just to our south. Barring that, when the precipitation comes through, we will have an icy mix in southern New England. And then up through northern Connecticut and Massachusetts, there will be a period of snow. So Friday morning could be a little interesting with road travel conditions. For Sunday, we'll flip the switch and we get warmer air out of the southwest. A storm way up in the northwest into Canada will bring a swath of uh, moderate to heavy rain through the area on Sunday. So Sunday is not looking like the best of the two weekend days. But for tonight... We will have a spot shower, mostly cloudy and cool, with a low of 38 degrees. The spot shower is only going to be in one or two towns, so not a big difference. The winds will be west 5 to 10 miles per hour, but they will change north, at north after midnight. For Thursday, we will have a high of 40 degrees with rain, but as we go through the day, our temperatures will be falling, so we'll reach that 40 degrees early in the day, and then by late evening, we'll drop down in the middle 30s. Friday, we will have 40 degrees. But with 29 degrees Thursday night, we might have a chance for mixed Thursday night into Friday morning before we change over to rain during the afternoon with a high of 40. Then Saturday, we will be mostly cloudy with maybe a shower in the morning lingering, but a high of 53 degrees. So we're going to rebound the temperatures again. Saturday night, 37, which isn't too bad. Sunday, we do have that rainstorm that we saw on the model, which was 48 degrees for a high. So that's still pretty warm for this time of year. 35 Sunday night for a low, which, which is good because everything will stay uh, wet. And then Monday will be mostly sunny with a high of 50 degrees. So definitely throughout the five-day forecast, we have a seesaw of temperatures with also very unsettled conditions until early next week, which we will get the sun out for Monday. So that is good news. Thank you for watching. Check us out on social media at WCSU Meteorology. I am student meteorologist Justin Nisaltel. Have a good day.